Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick update on the Sony Alpha A7 Mark II, and that's because yesterday Sony announced a firmware update for this camera. You can see it right here. It's version 1.10, and a critical key enhancement, really full utilization promised, at least in this little menu that you see here of improvements, for that 5-axis image stabilization. So the first thing Sony points out, image stabilization now is enabled with a half press of the shutter. You also have image stabilization in focus magnifier. I know that's something a lot of you have been waiting for. Uh, image stabilization in movie recording, something that was incredibly disappointing for me, uh, which is one of the reasons I'm actually redoing my review of the A7 Mark II. And then last but not least, overall image stabilization in other functions. I've also heard that the uh, firmware update will improve the overall speed of the camera, so it'll be interesting to see how much this firmware brings to the table and whether or not it takes a product that may have been a little bit half-baked, you know, came out in time for the holiday, but not necessarily as ready for prime time as one could have hoped. Nonetheless, critical, again, 218 megs in change. So you're going to go ahead and click download now. I'll include a link in the description. You'll have to select uh, your operating system of choice. Make sure you do that. That is critical. And then once you've actually downloaded the software, I'll take you through the actual installation. So let me take you to that right now. Okay, so once you've located the file, the first thing you're going to want to do is actually open it up, and this is what it should look like, depending on the directory you've downloaded it to. It'll be labeled update underscore ILCE 7 m 2 v 110exe exe So you're going to go ahead and double-click on that. You'll see it's extracting. And now Sony prompts you, we've all been through this if you're a Sony user, owner, uh, but of course it's often hit or miss, but at least in description, fairly simple. So now that you've got the firmware downloaded and extracted, you're going to be greeted with the system software updater. And you can see it gives step-by-step -step directions on exactly how to get this thing going. Essentially turn on the camera, select USB connection uh, from the settings menu and make sure that it is set to mass storage because by default Sony will have this on auto and it needs to be set to mass storage in order to actually apply the firmware update. You want to then connect the camera to your computer using the uh, micro USB cable that's included or basically pretty much any will work but it is recommended to use the included and then click next and I've done that so let's go ahead and do it. Now in the past, there have often been issues with this. Hopefully this update will go smoothly, and uh, that's what I'm hoping for. Again, this is all about the 5-axis image stabilization being improved upon in a big way. You can see that it's restarting the camera. I can hear the USB device resetting its connection right now. Running the update smooth so far, which is a very refreshing uh, factor or simply because anyone who remembers the issues in the past trying to update uh, the firmware or the last firmware that at least I addressed with the Alpha series was quite difficult actually and there wasn't really any good explanation it just took multiple attempts until finally it would catch and eventually take so here it looks like things are going smoothly, but keep in mind, it is a large update. We're looking at over 200 megabytes, and as a result, that's quite a bit of work for uh, even a camera of this stature. This is one of the biggest updates I think I've ever seen, when we're at least, again, speaking uh, regarding a firmware update uh, for a camera. So it looks like everything's working, but it looks like it's going to take some time. Uh, so I'm probably going to stop recording now and revisit you guys when uh, this has finished. Okay, so I'm back. It's been over 10 minutes. The update is still installing, uh, but everything smooth so far. No issues. Hopefully we'll get right through to the completion without any hiccups because, as I mentioned earlier, that was the pitfall of the last major firmware update that I covered that Sony pushed out to their full-frame mirrorless cameras. 
Essentially, it was just hit or miss on whether or not it would communicate and actually install the update. But even though this is lengthy, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, that's mostly to do with the fact that the file size is well over 200 megs, and that's pretty much the largest update I've ever seen from Sony. I'm sure we're going to see, again, even larger files when they push updates to camcorders like the FDR-AX100 in order to add the 100 megabit uh, rate for video recording in XAVCS, but I could be wrong. That could be a very small update compared to what Sony did here, which seems like it's almost the entire uh, firmware rather than an update may be revamped. Uh, and I did mention, you know, that quite possibly this was a bit of a half-baked product in order to make it out for the holiday season and there you see it finally completed uh, we'll see in time you guys will all be able to see uh, how long it actually took uh, just based on my desktop time uh, but there you go it's finished and now this is going to allow me uh, to basically just disconnect it and go ahead and complete a test to see what impact uh, this new update has had beyond what I've already explained and if it's real world you're gonna see it in my video sample test that video will show uh, both the before and after results of handheld use with this firmware update and without any questions or comments please feel free to post them and of course as usual please feel free to subscribe later